Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hoblind Let's Play Silent Hill Origins for the PSP. My name is Phyllis Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today, my friends, uh, we're gonna continue along this game here. And it's been a few days since I played because I've been away. So if I'm if I'm sticking it up here just a bit today, it's because I'm trying to remember how to not die horribly. Although, from what I remember. I wasn't doing too good of a job at that uh, in our last video. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> but it's good to be back with you all. I hope you all have been well. I do have a personal favor to ask, and that is if you're liking this playthrough. I <laughs> like this playthrough and all of a sudden you hear <laughs> That's bad timing Oh, Okay, we need to go here Uh, the female word Um, but yeah, if you're- OH MY GOD, JESUS Um, uh, If you're liking this playthrough, uh, do me a favor and um Uh, make sure you are liking the videos And the reason I say that is because Uh, there's this one music company Which is basically, um Copyright claiming every single video in this series and with most copyright claims I dispute them and I win them because of something called fair use and uh, this is the classic definition of fair use I mean I even dimmed the audio some to make sure that my voice is fine center and not the uh, the music but with that said like it's, oh my god there, there's one music company which doesn't seem to care they're claiming every single one of my videos uh, so uh, the only thing I can do to try to count that is if you guys uh, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you here. Uh, do me a favor and uh, let me know that you enjoyed the channel. And I'd love to meet you uh, in the comment section below. Uh, why is everything broken? I mean, come on, Silent Hill. For the love of everything, stop breaking every single door. All right, we could check the female door, maybe. Uh, no, I forgot the stamina. Okay, we, we found something. Okay. I got a baton. Excellent. What's this? Uh, 9.30 a.m. administered medication to the seclusion patients. There were no incidents. Uh, 11.46. Accompanying Dr. Harris on this morning grounds. No incidents of note. Three. Visit for Miss Blank from her husband. Took her into the empty room down our uh, room so she would feel more comfortable. 346. Miss Blank has attacked her husband. During the visit, she had a violent episode and attempted to throttle Mr. Blank. She was heard screaming by myself and the attendant orderly, and we managed to rest restrain her. I almost said rest train, restrain her. Though it took three of us, despite her being a female, slight build. After we sedate her and took her back to her room, Dr. Harris examined her and decided to reinstate her dose of epilinium. 512. After the incident with Miss Blank, the other patients have become agitated and restless. Harris has ordered a lockdown. Okay. More uh, pistol ammo. Patient belongings key. Alright. Where is the patient uh, belongings room at? Um, it's all the way back there. It's in the middle, uh, at the top middle. So we're gonna have to go all the way back around to get there. Let's check this door. It should be locked, right? Oh, now it's unlocked. Oh, so we could go this way too. Hmm. Uh, there's a part of me. Uh... Okay, that's very creepy. Um, so if I press right to left, it takes me to the other map. Uh, there's a part of me that wants to come back here because I got to get to the, the west pipe room because I believe there's an item that fell there. Uh, the east pipe room, if I remember correctly, has a grate that we got to get rid of. But we may be able to get rid of something uh, for the grate in the patient belonging room. Uh... 
So why don't I head to the patient belonging room first? Man, I hate how these guys like disrupt the entire screen. I mean, this game does remind me a lot of Turtle Darkness City's Rec Room. Uh, not there. I need to go straight. So you may ask, K Flutless Bird, why aren't you fighting anything? The simple answer is I really can't, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the way weapons in this game work, since they break. Yeah, uh, since weapons break in this game, um, and. What the heck? Uh, that's not good at all. Uh, the way the way uh, weapons break in this game. And the fact that, oh my Jesus, um, healing items are limited. God, the noises of this game are horrifying. I thought Silent Hill 4 was the scariest Silent Hill game, but this, this, this one, this one may be giving that a run for its money. I do think Silent Hill 4 is the scariest uh, team silent game. Uh, we got shotgun ammo, typewriter, and a note. A status report, February 7th, 1961. Patient Miss Blank Blank, age 35, examining Dr. Dr. Harris. Uh, Miss Blank's condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world have become more acute. Well, we know quite a lot about the mirror world. And she spends more and more time in an apparent catatonic state. She claims that during this time, she is in the other world. Don't you just love, by the way, we're playing Silent Hill Origins, a game that has mirror worlds, uh, on a time frame where uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is coming out. Uh, and don't forget, you know, Doctor Strange has that mirror dimension, like, you know, ability, world creation thing that he has. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, magic -y stuff, you know? Zing, zing, zalbing. Uh, she now has full recollection of her attack on her son, but shows no remorse for the incident. I, n indeed, she seems proud, almost smug, of attempted filicide. I am worried that this behavior could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilinium that the patient has been prescribed. I have asked for a dose to be halved and hope to see positive results shortly. All right, well... It's not exactly what I was hoping to find. So I'm going to find something that could help me get that, um, great loose. Oh, great. It's a mirror. Oh. Do I want to use the mirror? Uh. I'm just waiting for us to go into mirror world. And as we enter the mirror world... There's just like a monster standing right behind us. And it's like, wah! And I'm like, ah! And uh, who turned on the music all of a sudden? That's pretty intense. Oh, hello there, mister. I got a shotgun. Who's that? It looks like there's ammunition on the ground. Which I was not able to pick up. There we go. Alright, um... Well, there's a lot of places we can explore right now. I'm never going to be able to reach this door. Oh my god! Jesus! Well, this looks familiar. I have no idea where I ran to, by the way. I just wanted to get the heck away from whatever those things were. Uh, a day room. Shotgun ammo. And a first aid kit. That's really good. Hmm. Yeah, there, there, this, hmm. So that squiggle line goes all the way down. Ah. 
Something's blocking it. And the floor just stops here. It's impossible to get to this door. Alright. So I was told the flashlight alerts enemies. I'm not able to reach the exit. The floor doesn't go any further. Okay, so what I want to do is probably... Oh my lord! I thought they were going this way. Oh, this game. I swear this game's gonna give me a heart attack. All right, so now we're on this side. We can get to the East Larium. Maybe. Okay, that's... I hear something moving. Oh, Jesus, it's one of those, uh, those guys, the, the floating armors. Where the heck am I? Um... Filing cabinet, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, man, like I said, this game is just... Um... I'm glad at this moment I can't look up because I don't even want to know what those things are up there. Oh boy, uh, the staircase right in front of me. Which we can go in. Although I think I want to explore the rest of this floor first. Um, nothing here. Where does this take me? There's a storage room to the left here. Laundry here. This is a weird room. Yeah, this is a really weird room. More shotgun ammo, fantastic. Uh, attending officers report 11-4-1959. Uh, one number BA-4545-10. When I arrived at the blank house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbor of Mr. Bryant, who was who first called an incident, had restrained Miss Blank, and the paramedics were attending to the child. The husband, Mr. Blank, had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Thanks to Bryant's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell, and I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appeared that Miss Blank had attempted to gas herself and her child. Yeesh. When I spoke to the suspect, Miss Blank, uh, she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Miss Bryant co commented that several times in the, recent, in the previous weeks, he had heard loud arguments and screams in the house. He said Helen has not been well for a while. Alright. Oh, a health drink. That's why I'm glad to mash X wherever I go. Alright, we need to go check this door. And I'm guessing it's probably going to be locked. Or broken. Yep, broken. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see that. They want you to go use the, uh, the elevator. Well, it looks like you can't get into the words. Unless, if you can get into the word, hold on, is both the words blocked off? The Both the words are blocked out here, too. So it looks like the female words are permanently inoperable. Because you can't seem to get into those areas, uh, regardless of which world you're in. Alright, so I'm going to go down the stairs. Maybe I can get that thing from um, this world. You know that thing that's um, stuck in the grate? Let's check upstairs first. Yep, thought so. I thought you couldn't go upstairs. That's why I wanted to check it first. They, you just get the feeling they're leading you downstairs. Uh, by the way, what's my health look like? Because I did take a couple shots. I am moderate. I have three health drinks, so let's go ahead and use one. I, I really don't want to game over. Some more target pistol ammo. Alright. I don't know if I feel good about using ammo or not. 
And the reason for that is just because simply, um, uh, I remember, was it Silent Hill 1 or something like that when I ran out of ammo? And that was bad. I think I got to a hospital. I finally ran out of ammo. And, uh, um, yeah. Um, I don't want to lose ammo again. Oh, an ampule. Oh, it's another, it's another mirror, too. All right. Well, can't you just... Oh, okay. Yeah, we definitely want to use a mirror here. Because by using the mirror here, we can um, search this room and we can also unlock that door and get some more ammo while we're at it. A meat hook, good, 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 good. Um, all right, do you want to go back? I mean, I need to go to the left here, regardless. But I haven't explored the rest of this area, so I kind of want to go back. And I also want to equip the uh, dresser. And uh, I want to see if I can throw this thing at the uh, the monster here. Uh, there's two monsters. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I forgot about that. Um... Uh, I think I just made it angry. Alright, well, they're dead. I'm not really happy about using bullets there. But at the same time... Um... Oh my god, what was that? Oh, there's more. I know this area is blocked off, so I don't want to have to kill this thing if I could just run and check out what's down here. Oh, there's a bunch of good stuff there. There's also a meat hook here. Alright, he's on that side this time. That's good, that's good, that's good. Fantastic. That couldn't have worked out better if I planned it myself. So we definitely want to go in that spot uh, because there's a bunch of items there. There was a door here. Nope, a little bit further. All right, now I passed it. <laughs> and of course it's being blocked. Of course it's blocked. You go through all that trouble to find the door and it's blocked. Alright, can we grab the item in the other world? Ah, oh, we can! Excellent! That's how you get rid of the great interview archives room. Alright, where is... Where are the interview archives room? Uh, is there one to the interview archives room? Uh, there. Archive. It's on the second floor to the left middle. You know, we may be able to get into the rooms through that door there. Um, I believe I can use a mouse. Yeah, this door right here. Uh, we may be able to get in through here, and if we get in through here, we can go to these and maybe drop down uh, to another uh, floor. But we're going to have to go back up to the second floor to get to that archive room. And it looks like the easiest way to do that is just to take the stairs on the main level. Alright. There's be a little bit of backtracking in this game. Which is kind of terrifying because I'm not really killing a lot of enemies. So, these enemies are... Oh my god, why are there so many of them? I just killed these! Oh, maybe I killed the other ones. I don't think I can squeeze by here. 
I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh! Get out of the way! Ooh. Oh. All right, let, get me the heck back to the. Uh... What do we want to go from here? Um, if we take those stairs, they should drop me off right where I kind of need to be. And then uh, what I have to do is I have to go up to the second floor. Is there something over here? No. Nah. By the way, I never noticed how bloody that door is. That's very creepy. Thank you, game. <laughs> I um definitely safe. Love how snappy the save is. All right, now we want to go up to floor two. And then we want to go straight. Uh, oh. Kind of deked him there. All right, thank you again for this super creepy music, by the way. I, I really appreciate that. Not only is the screen really hard to see, but now you gotta give me this super creepy music. National Sad Awareness Day? I don't know. I had to do it. You had to? Please, help me understand. That's what you do with pets. That's what you do, isn't it? And he was a pest. Oh, he was a bad boy. Always has been. I tried to pretend he wasn't, but they were there to make sure I didn't forget. They? The people in the mirrors. They see it all. What's really going on. And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility. My flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Good wombs can bear bad sons, they say. I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen. No. You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. Helen. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? Okay. Um. Slightly disturbing. And even more disturbing is this, um, this, uh, face in the background over there that is that is absolutely terrifying right there and um so we know this woman's name is helen but who is she who is she shotgun ammo tv and why are we hearing these like Flashbacks. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I love how we're running around with only a screwdriver, by the way. Ooh! Oh, my friends, glorious of days. We have gotten my favorite weapon from the Silent Hill game. We have gotten a katana. Powerful weapon with a sharp and deadly blade. It's too bad these break though, but I don't care. I need to see what this looks like just because you know me. I love the katana. I wish I would stop pressing that button. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Gotta grasp with both your hands and swing the sword. Oh, I got a katana! That's so awesome! Oh, goodness gracious. I love the katana. Katana is amazing. 
Or at least it wasn't Silent Hill 3. That was by far my favorite weapon. In any Silent Hill game, the Katana was my favorite. And that includes the infinite ammo gun. Although I will say the uh, Sailor Moon costume was pretty awesome too. Alright, we can go this way. I'm gonna ditch my light so I can try to explore this room a little bit better. Man, it's so hard to see without a light on. Alright, so... Everything is blocked off. Except the left side. I haven't gone... Oh my goodness. Why are there so many enemies in this game? Seriously. There is like... A lot. I mean, every single zone you go in, there's got to be like three enemies. At least. Uh. What is up with this picture? I'm getting disoriented here. Alright, that's the downstairs. Hold on, let me uh, let me look at this map a little bit better. All right, so that'll pop us out there, which is good. Or it'll pop us out over there, which could also be good. Uh, part of me wants to make sure that the other way is in fact closed off, like I think it probably is. Yeah, I would say that's closed off. It's It's like there's an entire section of the room missing. Uh, well, we can't go up. So there's only one way to go, and that's down. Down and down the rabbit hole we go. Wait a second. Yeah, it's always to the basement. Always to the basement. Alright, I don't see anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that something we could pick up? Yes! Toolbox. So we could throw at an enemy, most likely. All right, where are we? Uh, check the boiler room, perhaps, or perhaps not. Ah! Jesus! Oh my God! It was like an alligator attacking you. That thing just lunged for me. Ah! Oh. I, I want to use the mirror now, just so I don't have to go back outside. But we need to, we need to see what is out here. All right, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the TV. <laughs> I'm sorry, that freaked me out. Did we kill it? Did we kill it? Yes, we got it. God, that guy was waiting for me too. I think those are the guys you need to uh, range weapons on. All right, I, I, I just did a loop to loop. Let me go back through here. All right, let's see what my reward was for getting rid of that thing. Okay, good. I was about to say, if this was a locked door, I would have been mad. Oh. Oh. Triangle. Square. Wow, that meat hook's really good. Oh, that meat hook is fantastic. Would have been nice though if I didn't get grabbed. Problem is, I don't really know how to not get grabbed by these things. Oh my goodness, they spit at you. I was not expecting that. Once again, this meat hook is really good. Three hits bring him down. So it seems like there's different type of enemies in this game, which is pretty cool. So you got those guys which either charge at you or spit at you. 
All right, you got up in storage. You should check out the up first. Okay, the door is not barred. I was half expecting it to be barred. All right, the way this emulator glitches out like that, it just adds to the terrifying sense of this game, in my opinion. Like, I will... That's disgusting. I welcome every single glitch in this game, like without a second thought, because the more glitches there are in this game, the more terrifying it becomes. Uh, we could go in the mirror room, by the way, or we could uh, check out the top floor here. Uh, I think I'm gonna check out the top floor. Um, yeah, th this, this, this glitchiness is, like I said, it, it's terrifying. Oh, you can actually go out the first floor. I, I'm pretty sure I just avoided something eating my face off. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, hello. Got a hammer. It's hammer time. All right. Okay, so it looks like, you know, we can't go up the second floor, but we can go down the first floor. Let me turn my light and hopefully we don't get eaten by this thing outside. Uh, go this way first. Yeah, it seems like light can be a powerful weapon in this game. Um, for sticking by enemies. Okay. Five. Got a baton. Medications, do not mess up. Room 1, Trizanthium. Room 2, Natium. Room 3, Oporium. Room 4, Solorium. Room 5, Natium. Remember, pills only for patient. More importantly, more importantly to me, I see red, blue, yellow, green, and blue. And yes, I wrote that down. Pretty sure there's gonna be a puzzle here somewhere. Room one. Uh, that's that disturbing at all? Dairy toilet doesn't appear it's been used in a while. Got a razor. Look at all the blades. Looks like someone had an accent here. No, that doesn't look like an accent. That looks like, yeah, that's. Oh, that 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 that's that. That. Oh, that, that creeps me out. The door open looks warped by heat. The outside is scorched black. Hat boxes. A dressmaker's dummy. And it's got a poker in it. Uh, perfume bottles. The tops are off, so everything inside... Uh, Evaporated a long time ago. Okay. Room four? It's heavily barred. Yeah, no kidding. Room five? There are piles of uneaten food. It smells awful. Okay, why did you zoom into this picture game? Says scales look like they've seen a lot of use. So nothing in this room? All right, well that's not, you know, that, that that's um, that's creepy. Oh, I forgot to drop my light. Yeah, forgot to drop my light. Get out of here. All right, what's the game plan here? We want to go to the mailroom three, the men's bathroom, the infirmary, and I'm guessing that door is going to be locked, and they're going to force us to go back into the mirror world from downstairs. Ah, oh, it still sees me! Still sees me! Still sees me! Go, 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 go. Okay, thankfully the nurses didn't see me, though. Uh, you 
kidding me? Everything is blocked? Everything? Okay, the infirmary is not blocked. What's in the infirmary? Oh, a save point. Well, that's good. Just junk, just junk. Nothing for me here. Just rubbish. Um. Tell me if that doesn't look creepy as can be. Because that looks really, really creepy. Nothing on here. All right, let's uh, let's have a save before we do anything else. There is an ornate cabinet here with five miniature dolls screwed into its top. Take a look. Yes. Uh well, that's um, that's a nice picture. Red. This should be red. Um, blue. I don't have a yellow. Wait, this is yellow. Green. Blue. I, I thought that would be it. What if I'm going from the wrong direction? So red. Blue, yellow, green, blue. Maybe I just messed it up the first time and I put the wrong thing in the wrong place. Let me try one more time. Red, blue, yellow, green, Oh, oh, I got to match the dolls with the rooms. Oh, uh, ho, 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 ho. So I got to figure out which one the burnt room is, which one the, the, the razor blade room is. Okay, okay. I, I understand, game. I understand what you want me to do. The only problem is now I got to go all the way back to that area in order to do it. Uh, where is it? Male seclusion? Man, you gotta be a ninja in this game. You know that? Alright, so... Room 1 is Razor Blade. Okay, so that's Razor. Uh, room 2 is Burnt. Uh, room three is uh, the dress or the clothes. Could barely see my way out the game. Uh, I want to render it. Uh, four is barred. I'm not sure which one the barred one is, but I, if I can figure out the other four. And five is food. So uneaten food. Okay. Even if we can, uh, if we figure out what three of them are, then the last two we should be able to figure out. It's good to see that this game still has puzzles. I did like that about the original Silent Evil. Silent Evil. Ugh. I I'm sorry, my friends. I just committed the greatest sin to mankind. I, I mixed up Silent Hill and Resident Evil together. Uh, I, that is one of the reasons I love Silent Hill. Um, all the puzzles and everything. I really, really enjoy the puzzles. All right, Razor Blade was red. Uh, the burnt was blue. The dress clothes is yellow. 
Uneaten food. This is... Wait. This is probably uneaten food. Because look at him. He, he looks so unhealthy. Um, and the barred one is probably the uh, the maniac one. I mean, look how good the uh, body definition is on the doll. Can't believe I just said that sounds out loud. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, uh, in food, you have to be the barred one, and then the uneaten food should be this one. Aha! <laughs> Doctor Harris's key. Fantastic! I love the puzzles. And we almost passed by that scalpel. I love the puzzles. So glad they're in this game. All right, where is Dr. Harris's room? It's first floor. How do I get there? Well, the only way to really get there is, uh, the only way to really get there is through the, um, through the downstairs area. I do like how they can't really see. And they seem to be deaf as well because they can't hear me, um, they can't hear me running. All right, let's go down. Alright, what's the plan? The plan is to go back to the storage room. This is a really cool game so far. Um, I like the changes to it. Although I am slightly annoyed that weapons can break. I, I won't lie. I, I think that's very, very, very annoying. Uh, but at the same time, it does make the game a little bit more strategic. Now you have to approach it. Whoa! You see that flash of light? Oh, we're duking it out with this thing. It's probably a bad idea. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is three times bigger than me. I think we got it. I think we got it. Why can't I stop on this thing? Why can I not stop on this thing? All right, um, we'll, we'll get our scalpel out. Calling Dr. Scalpel. There we go. So I can't seem to finish this guy off. I really hope it's dead. Now watch, I'm never gonna see that guy again, so it's gonna be pointless. <laughs> Alright. Hello? Amber Incident Report. Reporting staff member Simons. Incident Description. A male child entered the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered female seclusion room 5, at which point Orderly Michaels observed him and alerted me. The boy was the child of a visitor and was taken away by his father. Uh, failures. The doors to female seclusion were left unlocked by the orderly and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. Recommendation. All staff to be reminded of the importance of locking ward doors. Review of staff to be conducted by duty managers. I can hear my heart beating. Is that my health? God about this future piece. I keep with Dr. Harris written on his tag. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use a health drink. Yeah, that was my health. So there is a percentage meter system like other Silent Hill games. They just don't tell you how much HP you have. Okay, lock's broken. We can go this way though. And this takes us to the, the stairs. Kind of want to explore out here first. Okay, I need to 
go left. Lock's broken. All right, well, it looks like I'm not going left anytime soon. Man, those guys are a lot easier to deal with once you realize that as long as you have your light off, you can maneuver around them pretty easy. Oh, hello. It's a big giant wrench. Kind of like the stabby stab of the, the scalpel. I mean, it did a pretty good job on that really, really big guy. And what's like the super attack? Oh. Uh, kind of lame, I will say. Uh, floor one, uh, recreation, mail words, maintenance, recreation. Really? All right, can't go this way. With any luck, we could unlock the door. Yes, we can unlock the door. So I definitely want to do that first before we do anything else. Especially since I believe this takes us to the doctor's office. It does. <laughs> avoid the nurses uh, right here let's say lots of folders filed and forgotten nothing of use on this desk I got the joke the eel Costa artifact The Yocasta Artifact, Yocasta, I know that name. Why do I know that name? I know that name, I know that name. That is uh, from Greek mythology. Who is Yocasta? Um, isn't she one of... Is she one of the daughters of Oedipus Rex? Oh, that's gonna bug me. I really, really should know that. Um, hold on, I, I have to. I have to look that up because I know that name from somewhere. Uh, Yocasta Greek, Greek mythology. Um, uh, the daughter of Thebes, uh, uh, Menokios and sister Creon. She was the wife of Laius, who was given a prophecy saying that if she ever had a child, the child would kill him and marry his wife. I'm sorry. Um, Yocasta is Oedipus Rex's mother slash wife. Yes, if you think that's weird, uh, welcome to Greek mythology. It's one of the most messed up plays in uh, Greek mythology. I knew I knew the name from somewhere. I just couldn't place it. Uh, the new patient, Helen Grady, arrived today. I was surprised to see how calm and well behaved she was. After reading her notes, I was worried that she might be something of a handful. The woman is in complete denial and claims to be claims no recollection of the in incident which saw her committed. Indeed, she has asked repeatedly to be allowed to see her son. I have agreed with her husband that it is best that the boy be kept away from his mother. No duh, I mean she tried to kill him. While there seems to be little hope for any long term recovery, I look forward to spending some time with Miss Grady. Her condition is most fascinating. So we have uh, Helen Grady here. Okay. I really wish I remembered um, if we've ever seen the name Grady before in any of our Silent Hill games. Back the way we came. I like the music in this game. I just wish it wouldn't get copyright claimed by its Sound Music, whatever that company is called. Uh. Oh. Um. Well. That's kind of the end of the road here. But I can use the mirror in the uh, the patient belonging room. So why don't we go do that. It's kind of strange that they start playing this music after a uh, After I found that room. Ah, well, the nice music's gone. And where are we going from here? I'm not sure.
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure where I'm going here. I need to go to a place that I haven't been yet. Where haven't I been? Uh, this map seems to be pretty full. I can't get into the top left area yet though. And in the basement, it's basically blocked off. Here, I can get to the top left area through the stairs, but I can't go any further. Yeah, I can't go any further. Um. Hmm. Where haven't I been? Uh. Okay, I can go. Yeah, that's a dead end. If I can get on the left side there on the second floor. But I can't. Hmm. I, I, I'm, I, I honestly don't know where to go at the moment. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, I haven't been to the boiler room. Yeah, I haven't been to the boiler room. I, I guess I could go there. Uh, that seems to be the... Uh, the most logical place to go next because I haven't been anywhere else. I just ran out the building. You know, I kind of want to run out this building, to be honest. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea to get the heck out of this area. Because this does not appear to be the most friendly places in Silent Hill that we can visit. That is definitely for sure. But I think I am going to take a break here. Uh, thank you for everything, my friends. I love you all so very much. Um... Uh, it's good to be back after, you know, being gone for a few days. And uh, it's good to be back at Silent Hill. So uh, I will catch you all next time. Uh, thanks, thank you again. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.